So today at Burger King, uh, I have read comments before of like, you know, uh, can we see you work an actual rush or like, you know, a shift or something like that? So, okay. In this one, I'm just going to show you what it's like working kind of like a late night before closing. And uh, I just want you to know that for years, like when I first got bumped up from shift manager to assistant manager in the company, I like in my starting out in the company, like with my first shot at shift management, I had to be the opening manager. Someone would some would say the breakfast manager. And I hated it. It was scarring. It was so scarring. I said, I'll do all the closing shifts. And I saw that no one wants to do closing shifts. So that kind of helped me like, okay, I can get those shifts. So I was the closing manager for years. Now, you know, with my, you know, I, I have kids. I, I got, you know, my babies. I don't want to miss that. And honestly, pursuing this, I, I did miss a lot. You know, there was times I... We worked seven like days straight, seven days straight to 10, 12, 13 days straight doubles in those spans, you know, uh, working crazy nights, short staff, crew members that, you know, just didn't do the best for me. And some crew members that along the way, as I, you know, live and learn, I also failed and I still have to deal with today that, you know, I could have dealt with that a different way or I could have handled that differently or I could have been there for them differently. Anyways, I believe I've seen it all in my closing days. And also, yeah, you know, I didn't want to open no more. So I went straight to closing. In closing, you get crew members that, you know, they start to lose momentum. They slow down. Some only want to stock and clean and forget that we're still servicing food. We're still servicing customers. Some, you know, they're fresh out of school. So it's like. You know, now that I kind of understand more coming fresh out of school and then you don't get that chance to just kind of go home like right after school, you're getting dressed and then working a shift. I can kind of see that takes a toll. Now, from a manager's point of view, it's like, look, if you can't do the job, don't work it. But I do still try to have understanding that maybe they do need the job and they honestly probably do come with the content that they do want to have a great shift and work or whatever and sometimes you do get the ones that are like man i'm coming for this shift and i'm in and out and like that's it i just work here like i'm just getting a check but anyways i get you know the closing shift you get the lazy ones you get the ones that don't want to be there you get the ones that want to be in and out and just want the shift to be over some aren't the cleanest some aren't the brightest some have parents that don't want them there late at all. I've gotten crew members that, let's say a store, you know, I've there was a time where I worked where we closed at 9. There was a time where we closed at 10, 11, you know, all that. And once closing time is like, okay, we close at 10 tonight, it's 10 o'clock, I'm out. That's not how that works. You know, stuff just got shut down. We still have to stock. We still got to clean. You know, we still have to do all that. Uh... What else is what else is it when, when, when you're short staff? Of course, that sucks. You know, you might get a staff where you have maybe eight to 12 crew members, but you have four to five closers. And the worst part is, is when out of your let's just say eight to 12 crew members show up, three people call off and those three people were the closers. And now you're asking the ones that. If we close at 11, there's some that leave at 9 and some that leave at 10. And you're like, hey, do you think you could stay? And no one's trying to stay. The ones that do want to stay, they either they like you, they respect you, or they're looking for hours. You know what I mean? So that's, that's one thing about it. Uh, did, do, did I love closing? Um, for a while, I did love closing, you know, because I had the morning I felt. I didn't have to wake up. Uh, <coughs> I didn't have to wake up super on time, like early as hell. I could get things done in the morning. I could help my girlfriend with the kids in the morning. But now, you know, it's just a bit in the way because my oldest has football, and my uh, second one, he started. This is first year of school, and you know, just to you know, if they're in school in the a.m. and then I'm heading to work at night, 
you know, it's just no time. And if, you, if, if you're a parent, you don't want to miss that. You don't want to miss any of that, especially when they're all adults. And let's just say they all go their own way. <clears throat> it, it, it sucks, you know, like one might live here. One might live way out. One might have a job here, go to school there, have a girlfriend that lives here. So, you know, it's just it's stuff that I didn't I don't want to miss. So I make sure now that I, try, I open a lot more often. I still have closing shifts because it's only fair, but I do open a lot more often now. Um, the, you know, but the positives of closing, you know, you get a lot of kids and sometimes they might not be getting certain attention at home or they're going through something at school. And you being another adult in their life, you know, I've been able to help certain kids. Um, the dinner rush usually isn't as bad as the lunch rush. So that's cool. Uh, what are the other positives of closing? Um, it, it, it's a job, you know. It's fast food, you know. They it, all fast food have their thing. Opening, closing. I'm just saying what it's like for me closing. <clears throat> you know, currently, I have some kids that they 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 try to leave very early on me. They're trying to call off. You know, once school fully starts, most of our closures were minors. So, you know, let's see what we get into. We are trying to hire. Well, we are hiring, but it's about getting them trained before school starts. And we have a bunch of people that really don't know what they're doing when we need them to know what they're doing right away. Now, me, I'm not going to expect that. I'm just going to expect the best they can. And I'm going to focus more on training than the actual shift for now. Well, I don't want to say that, but I'm going to focus on training mostly when uh, we get them all started.